we have a bet going on the boat to see who can catch the biggest fish. And I can't wait to get started. But before we go after the big game, we got to catch some bait. Catching bait. Catching bait. Catching bait. Dave says, catch the bait. Ah. Nice. Just got five Guys, at a time this is again. How you do it. Look, three at a time. Three at a time again. When we're catching bait, we use sabiki rigs so we can catch multiple baits at one time. So far, it's working like a charm. We're pulling up full stringers of bait fish. That's how you do it, Dave. Hey, look at that, John. I have them. I'm throwing. I'm throwing. Throw, Dave. We don't like to rely on one strategy for catching fish, so we change it up to make sure that we're fresh on our feet. Bingo, give me the basket. Todd, give me a rod. Go grab that. All right. Nice, Dave, nice. How you doing, Dave? One. They caught 10 while you did that. I know, but you know if I hit one shot with the mother load, we're it's done. It's over, I know that. One shot with the mother load. You go hit it, too. When fish are this dense, we throw a cast net, because you can catch a lot more fish in a lot less time. That's how we roll. When it comes to catching bait, more is always better. Having a diverse array of bait is going to give us more opportunities to catch a different variety of fish. Eat that bait up. You on? Good size there, Dave, huh? It's perfect. These are like candies. This is like taking candy from a baby. You in the candy store again, Dave? I think oh, something just picked me up. Oh, you're not in the candy store no more. I think something just picked me up. <laughs> Sometimes when catching bait fish, a bigger fish will swoop in and eat your bait fish off the line, snapping the rig and taking your bait. Pulling them all off. What are you going to do? 